good morning everyone <clears throat> today i'll be taking your class introduction to microbiology for the bsc first year students you have come from uh, completed your 12th and have joined the microbiology myself dr shama frosby from swami shri swarupanand saraswati mahavidyalaya to be like today i'll be telling you about your course what is included in your course what you have to read and how you have to proceed for your microbiology papers so this microbiology course consists of two papers paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 is the general microbiology and basic techniques and paper 2 is the biochemistry paper 1 general microbiology and basic techniques it includes five units and paper 2 also includes the five units and in continuation with that we have a practical uh, of yourselves including both the paper 1 and paper 2 in paper 1 the unit 1 is about the fundamentals history and development in which we will deal with the introduction to major group of organisms and fields of microbiology their historical development contribution of pioneers such as louis pasteur edward jenner anthony von leeuwenhoek and alexander fleming beneficial and harmful microbes and its role in day to day life this is the basic chapter which every microbiologist should know second is in microbiology the most important thing is the technology so in the unit 2 consists of your basic microbial techniques in which we are including methods of studying micro uh, organisms which are as follows the sterilization techniques physical and chemical sterilization pure culture techniques isolation techniques streaking serial dilution and plating method cultivation maintenance and preservation of pure cultures culture media conditions for microbial growth staining techniques in which we have simple staining differential staining negative staining and acid fast staining this topic is very important this unit is very important as it will tell you about the technologies which we will be using throughout our microbiology uh, career unit 3 consists of the virology and the bacteriology which are the different fields of microbiology virology as you all know it deals with the study of viruses and bacteriology deals with the study of bacteria in this we will deal about the diversity of microbial world principle and classification of viruses and bacteria their structure multiplication and economic importance of viruses such as tmv influenza virus and t4 phages structure and functional organization of bacteria in which we will deal with the cell wall of gram positive and gram negative bacteria and the economic importance of bacteria the fourth unit is the mycology unit in which we will be dealing with the we will be studying about the uh, study of fungi is known as mycology general characters and classification of fungi we will be dealing with structure and reproduction of common fungi such as rhizopus penicillium aspergillus yeast and agaricus common fungal diseases of crops such as late and early blight of potato smut of rice tick and red rot of sugarcane structure and reproduction and economic aspects of lichens lichens are the combination of algae and fungi the uh, unit 5 deals with the phycology and protozoology what is phycology the study of algae is known as the phycology and protozoology is the study of protozoan is known as the protozoology in this we will be dealing with the general characteristics and classification of algae and protozoa general account and economic importance of cyanobacteria such as microcystis oscillatoria nostra cannabina and protozoa such as amoeba paramecium euglena and plasmodium these are very important organisms as they have some helps also and causes diseases also to the human beings the textbook recommended for this paper are the general microbiology volume 1 and 2 of avaranta ginawala textbook of microbiology by dubey and maheshwari microbiology by tortora general microbiology by hans and shagel practical microbiology by dubey and maheshwari and practical microbiology by aneja handbook of microbiology by bisen general microbiology by palzar and introduction to microbial techniques by gunashekaran 
this I have totally explained you about the general microbiology and basic techniques, unit one, unit three and unit four, unit five and its textbook recommended. Now we will be dealing with the paper two. Your paper two is the biochemistry and physiology. Once we are dealing with the microorganism, we should know their biochemistry and physiology because they are important we, uh, to study the microorganisms, to deal with the microorganisms and to know about the microorganisms. We must be familiar with their biochemistry and the physiology. In biochemistry and physiology, first unit consists of carbohydrates and proteins that is which type of carbohydrates are present in these microorganisms and the proteins which are found. Commonly, it deals with all types of carbohydrates and proteins with a special respect to the microorganisms. The structure and classification of carbohydrates such as the monosaccharides, oligosaccharides. In oligosaccharides, we are having disaccharides and polysaccharides. Structure and uh, classification and properties of proteins in which we will be taking amino acids, peptides and proteins. Proteins that are the primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary structure of proteins. Second unit consists of the lipids and nucleic acids in which the structure, classification and properties of lipids are very important. Saturated and unsaturated fatty acids, structure and properties of nucleotides. Nucleotides means DNA and RNA in which we will see the structure and forms of DNA, replication of DNA and types of DNA and the structure and function of different RNAs. <coughs> Third unit consists of the enzymes and the, the basic uh, physiology depends upon the enzymes only. So in this we will be dealing with the structure, nomenclature and classification and properties of enzyme, mechanism of enzyme actions, enzyme kinetics, michaelis menten equation and derivation, enzyme inhibition, uh, Burke plot, coenzymes and their roles, allosteric enzymes and isoenzymes, extracellular enzymes and their roles. The microbial metabolism. Next unit is the microbial metabolism, which consists of the bacterial photosynthesis and chemosynthesis, glycolysis, TCA cycle, that is tricarboxylic acid cycle, oxidative phosphorylation, anaerobic catabolism of glucose, fat biosynthesis, alpha and beta oxidation of fatty acids, deamination, transamination of urea cycle. The last unit is that of the growth, physiology and transport system. The bacterial, in this we will be dealing with the bacterial cell division, genome replication and growth phases, conditions for growth, plasma membrane and transport systems, types of transports present in the microorganisms such as the active transport and the passive transports, diffusion which is the simple and facilitated diffusion, concept of uniport, antiport and symport. The textbook recommended uh, for the uh, paper 2 is General bio Biochemistry by A.C. Dev, Biochemistry by Leninger, Biochemistry by Yusuf Narayan, Microbiology by Anant Narayan and Panikar, Fundamentals of Biochemistry by J.L. Jain, Sun Sunjay Jain, Nitin Jain and um, Practical Biochemistry by Wilson and John Walker. Biophysical Biochemistry is also important to deal with the principles and techniques and next is about the practicals of BSc first year. In this, we are having, first of all, we will give you a small knowledge about the instruments used in the basic information and the instruments used in the laboratory or the microbiology. These are the autoclave, hot air oven, laminar airflow, and other laboratory instruments such as centrifuge, etc. Next comes the preparation of solid and uh, liquid culture media. Isolation of single colonies on solid media, enumeration of bacterial numbers by serial dilution and plating, simple and differential staining. Another is the measurement of microorganism, that is why micrometry and camera lucida drawing of isolated organisms, determination of bacterial growth by optical density measurement, general and specific qualitative test for carbohydrates. This is from the unit two. General and specific qualitative test for amino acids. General and specific qualitative test for lipids, estimations of proteins, estimation of blood glucose, 
assay of activity of the amylases which includes that of the enzymes which we are dealing with the paper 2 assays of the activity of phosphatases and finally uh, lastly is the scheme of practical examination it is the exercise on microbiological methods 10 marks exercises on biochemical test 10 marks on staining methods it is of 5 marks spotting of 10 marks viva voice 5 marks and sessional 10 marks so i think so now it is clear that what we have to study in the bsc first microbiology and then we will be starting our lecture uh, of a first unit paper 1 thanks very much for listening me carefully